Taylor Mason, and I'm the Outreach Archivist for the Pennsylvania House of Representatives Archives. Today we're going to show you more about former Speaker James Mandarino, in this case that's on display in the Irvis Office Building. Here we have artifacts, memorabilia, and photographs from former Speaker James Mandarino. Different members and staff also donated materials from him, as well as his daughter Kathy Mandarino, who was also a former member. There are more images and items on our website, but you can also see more information about Mandarino in a poster that's right behind me in the Irvis Office Building that shows more about his time as Speaker of the House. James J. Mandarino was born on May 6, 1932 in Manesson, Westmoreland County, Pennsylvania. He graduated from Manesson High School in 1950 and earned his Bachelor of Arts degree from St. Vincent College in 1954. While a student at St. Vincent College, he was elected class president, president of the student council, and a member of the debate society. He later graduated with a bachelor in law's degree in 1956 from the University of Michigan Law School. He returned to Manesson to practice law with his brother Lewis, who later became dean of the Duquesne University Law School in Pittsburgh in 1968. In November 1966, Mandarino was elected to the Pennsylvania House of Representatives and was later re-elected for 11 more successive terms. While in the House, Mandarino was the prime sponsor of 26 bills that were signed into law. In 1984, he was the prime sponsor of legislation which became Act 111, which provided for loans and loan guarantees to small business incubators. Mandarino was elected Democratic Whip in 1975 and held that position until May 25, 1977. He was elected Democratic leader on May 25, 1977, and was elected Democratic whip from 1979 to 1982, and Democratic leader from 1983 and 1988. Mandarino was elected and sworn in as Speaker on January 3, 1989. While Speaker, Mandarino presided over Act 27 of 1989, which recognized the Pennsylvania College of Technology as an affiliate of the Pennsylvania State University. In October of 1989, his skillful moderating of the televised debate of a controversial abortion bill known as Act 64 won him widespread plaudits for his fairness and fortitude. He is also remembered for being the driving force behind nationally recognized job development programs called Penn Pride. Mangerino was married to Constance Myers in 1955, and they had five children, Anthony, Kathy, James, Thomas, and Alan. His daughter Kathy was also a member of the House, representing the 194th Legislative District, which included parts of Philadelphia and Montgomery counties, from 1993 to 2010. James J. Mandarino died at his home on December 26, 1989, while he was Speaker. He is interred at Grandview Cemetery in Manesson, Westmoreland County, Pennsylvania. Music